Ford, you are not going out. Mom, my friend is in trouble. I don't care. You don't care? I didn't mean that, Ford. I would rather die trying than stay here like a coward. If something happened to him, do you think I'd be able to live with myself? Do you think I'd be able to live with myself if something happened to you? Mom! What if I accompany you? And that's practical how. You can't even walk. Well, not properly, anyhow. Right. Of course. Stay here, Ford. So what happens to my friend? She'll be fine. Johnny can't defend himself. He did kill Kara, though. Right. Well, he needs my help, and I never leave a friend in need. Plus, he'll hate me if I don't turn up. He understands, Ford. I'm not prepared to lose him. Plus, if anything happens, he'll never forgive me. It's not your fault. Just get off my case. Ford, knowing he can't get the house keys, Cracks open a window and jumps out of it. Freddy looks at Rose. What, Freddy? Um, nothing. Don't give me that look, then. Have you been skipping school, Eve? No. Then why did I see you entering the gate? Just leave it, Connor. Uh, okay. Johnny! Johnny! He saw Yvonne's car parked next to a small forest. Oh no. Flashbacks to the storm when that tree fell on the car. Well, well, well. You came straight to me, Ford. What? That text wasn't from Johnny. It was a ploy. From me. I should have known. So how did you even get Johnny's phone? I found it. Really? Yes? Ford sees her car keys hanging from her pocket. He glances at her red car which still had thick blood stains all over it. So, where is Johnny? How should I know? Maybe he is here and you're pretending he's not. I am not. Ford whips the keys from her pocket. Hey! He manages to get inside the car and lock it. Ford, you can't even drive. Who said I was driving? I have a baseball bat. Ford glared at her and then, without hesitation, started the car and managed to drive into the dense forest, almost hitting tree after tree until he came to a stop when he slammed into a large oak tree. Someone came out from behind it, surprised. I- Ford! Johnny! You got my text? Wait, what? You didn't? No, no, I did. I I'm confused. What? Yvonne said she sent the text. So she's trying to make you angry? Probably. Fancy sneaking into Yvonne's building? What? We'll be careful. You are so daring, Johnny. You are really going to get me in trouble with my mum. Since when have you started caring about what she thought? Since she gave Freddy a home. Oh, right. Makes sense. That completely changed my opinion of her. She can be nice. And I feel guilty if I upset her. After everything she's done for my friend. I get that. But you have to grow up one day. She can't watch you forever. Our life will always be at threat. And when will it get easier? We can't live like this forever. If we don't do anything, we'll be trapped inside and in fear for the rest of our lives. What kind of life is that? Then what are you doing? Risk of being imprisoned is a little different. Right. Come on, please. Fine. The two of them snuck into the back entrance of Yvonne's new large house next to the forest. This is even more creepy than the last place. And last time I wasn't in here by choice. Yeah. What's wrong, Johnny? Just wishing things could be how they used to. I miss how we all used to be like one big family. Together. Not separated from each other. Now it feels like we're all separated. And that there's even sides within our friendship groups. It never used to be this tense. Come home, then. And get arrested? That would make it worse, and we'd still be separated. Right. Everyone seems so on edge lately. Well, yeah, they don't want to see their friends being hunted down by a murderer, do they? It feels like more than that. Sure, I guess. What's this? Johnny points to a large red door. A door? No, it feels eerie and secretive. I'm gonna have a look. Johnny! Johnny forces the door open, ignoring Ford's cries. Ugh, whatever. Johnny and Ford freeze. A, a gun room? There's like a hundred guns here. Who's she planning to use them on? Work it out, Ford. Oh, 
I should call the police. Even if they don't catch evil, they can locate the building and remove the guns. As long as you don't mention me. Sure. Oh, gosh. Stay calm. Well, well, well. Yvonne. Well, I will let you go for now if... If what? Let me finish. Okay. She picked up one of the guns and pointed it at Ford. Stay calm. Please don't say that again. I will put the gun down if you promise me right now that you will not alert the police. And I will let you go, but if you break your promise once you leave here, you will be in even deeper trouble. And if I don't promise you? Yvonne rested her finger firmly on the trigger. Ford, just don't tell the police, please. Someone has some reason here, then. Reason? It's nothing to do with reason! Ford, please. You're not even the one she's pointing the gun at. I'm not losing you again, Ford. You know what? Maybe you're right, Johnny. After all, I am literally caring for my friend, and if anything happened to me, he'd be distraught, devastated, lost, and everything in between. He needs me. So what's it to be? I promise I will leave here and not tell a single soul, including the police, about your hideaway or your gun room, okay? Good. Now make sure you keep that promise. She forces them out of the building. I hate having to carry this weight. Tell Freddy. What? And worry him more? Freddy needs to know too. He's a target of Yvonne's, and I know Freddy. He won't tell, not even Eve. Freddy is the best person to keep a secret, that I know. Fine. Ford? That was close, Johnny. Too close. What happens next time? And then time after that? If she has proper plans for us, what even is it? Ford. Whatever. Come on, let's go to your house. Okay. The two of them arrive at the house. Freddy was sipping a hot chocolate and Rose glared at them as they entered. Just leave it, Mum. I need to talk to Freddy alone. Are you keeping secrets from me? Please, Mum. I'll go to the shops, then. Fine. Did you know that your face looks as white as a ghost? I did not. What's wrong? We saw Yvonne. What? And she threatened me with a gun. What? And she has an entire room of guns. Tell the police! That's what she threatened me not to do. She pointed the gun directly at me and told me not to tell them. Made me promise I can't tell the police. There's no telling what she'll do. So what now? Keep clear. That won't work. Not with Yvonne. Well, we um have to do something. Yeah, like Rose said, staying clear would equal being at home. So if we really want to keep... Clear, listen to your mum. Freddy! Are you going to tell Rose? No! I'm surprised she's not angry at Eve. Why? She and I were in the exact same position, but Yvonne probably doesn't think like that, because Eve's not close to you. I suppose. So anyone who's close to Ford, Yvonne despises. It's nice to be liked, but not if the people who like you may be killed for being close to you. I still can't believe she let you go. Yvonne puzzles me. She's not going to stop until she's dead, is she? Obviously not. Prison can't hold her. Nothing can. Even that's proving too difficult. For her to be dead? Yes. I mean, Kara got killed, therefore Yvonne can be killed too. I don't think it's quite that simple. Well? What do you want? Why are all of you so stubborn? Hey! Where did you come from? Outside? Right! So, Johnny, how have you been? Do you even need to ask that? No. Anyway, you're not going to like what I have to say. What is it, Sabrina? Oh, uh, n n nothing Sabrina. I received this note. But she didn't hand it to Johnny. She gave it to Ford and then stepped back tripping over one of Amber's slippers. Amber! And her slippers! Wait, what? Huh? What? Sabrina shook her head at Ford, so Ford grabbed Freddy's arm and pulled him into the garden. Bree, what are you keeping from me? I'm protecting you! How is this protecting me? You're hiding a note from me! Just don't worry about it! But I will worry about it! So, what does it say? Well, it's addressed to Sabrina and from Yvonne. Figured. It says, tell Johnny to hand himself in or else I'll kill you. What? I take it Sabrina doesn't want Johnny to hand himself in to protect her. I don't know what to do because I know if I show Johnny this, he will march to the police station right now. 
and I don't want that, but I don't want to lose Sabrina either. So what do you do? I don't know, because it seems either way someone will be at a loss. If Johnny hands himself in, Sabrina loses Johnny because if Johnny's in a cell, well... But equally, if something happened to Sabrina, then Johnny would lose her. At least if he's in jail, they're both alive. We have to do something. I will go to the police station myself. They like me. What harm is there in just at least trying? Really, Ford? I'll get Rose to take me and try and reason with them. They won't just let Johnny off. And I'll come too. You know, I can be quite convincing. And he's 13 for goodness sake. And the person who even murdered was the girl who tried to murder you. The police. Don't care about that. She's ruined all of our lives and she deserved everything she got. And actually, yes, coming with me is a good idea. Why? Well, uh, um, living proof of what Cara did. There's no evidence that she even started the fire. What if we found some? They wouldn't look Cara up because they had no concrete evidence, but... What are you planning? I'm sure Yvonne uses CCTV. We have to visit the crime scene. The police still don't know who did it and I'm going to be the one to show them who did.